Just last week, we saw a major update in the open AI scene with China's Kimi K2 model. But now the Quen3 coder has stepped in, taking coding AI models to an entirely new level. What makes Quen3 coder special is its training. It learned from a massive 7.5 trillion tokens, and 70% of this was purely coding data. To put that simply, this model has studied more code than a programmer could see, even if they coded non-stop for 50 years. Interestingly, Quent's creators also used their older AI model to clean and organize their training data. Imagine an AI choosing exactly what data it needs to train itself. It's like letting the AI teach itself in the smartest way possible. Another unique aspect of Quen3 is how it learns. The team used something called Long Horizon Reinforcement Learning. In plain English, this means the AI didn't just read the code, it practiced solving real coding problems. They ran it in 20,000 virtual coding scenarios at the same time. Think of this like 20,000 software developers working on the same project without ever getting tired or having disagreements. It's like the biggest coding bootcamp ever created but for robots. And the results? Quen3 Coder is doing incredibly well on benchmark tests. Right now it's beating Kimi K2 and even GPT 4.1, and it's very close to the powerful Claude 4 model. The impressive part is that Quen does all this with fewer parameters. Parameters are like the brain cells of the model. The fewer there are, the less electricity and hardware you need to run the model. That's great news for anyone worried about costs and energy usage. One of Quen3 Coder's coolest features is its context window. It can handle up to 256,000 tokens at once, and in some cases, it can even go up to 1 million tokens. Imagine storing an entire startup's code base in memory. That's exactly what Quen can handle. It's like having an AI developer who remembers every single detail of your entire project, including all the messy parts. Now you might be excited to try Quen3 Coder yourself, but here's a quick reality check. This model is huge. With 480 billion parameters, you can't just run it on your laptop at home. You would need tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of graphics cards, plus a huge electricity bill. So realistically, the best way to use Quen3 is through a cloud service provider. You just get an API key, hook it up with the Quen CLI tool, which is actually based on another popular tool, Gemini CLI, and start coding. But despite Quen's impressive abilities, Cloud4 still holds the crown as the top AI coding assistant. To truly challenge Cloud's dominance, another company would need to launch a model that's not just open and affordable, but clearly better than Cloud in all aspects. Speaking of competition, OpenAI was expected to launch its own open source model recently. But guess what? They delayed it, possibly because these new Chinese models are outperforming it significantly. OpenAI hasn't been having the best time lately. They've even been losing some of their top talent to competitors like Zuckerberg's Meta. However, OpenAI recently celebrated a big achievement, winning a gold medal at the International Mathematical Olympiad. But they made a controversial move by announcing their victory early, trying to overshadow Google's similar achievement. Unfortunately for OpenAI, this move backfired and made them look pretty desperate. And that wraps up today's update on Manu AGI. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest AI developments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.